one. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. I'm your host, Ed Troxel, and I'm the tech savvy business strategist who helps you, the overwhelmed business owner, get organized and help you overcome today's tech challenges so that you can keep moving forward and attract new clients online. So if this is your first time joining, welcome. Please be sure to jump into the comments and say hello at the very, very least, especially if you're watching the replay. Replay viewers, I am watching for you. I see you. I've seen you on the other broadcast. I like that. I like that. So keep it coming, okay? If this is your first time, uh, let me know in the comments, even if you're watching the replay. And for those who are new, because it's Friday especially, we uh, need to just kind of cover a couple things so you know what's going on with the show. I like to do th this at the beginning of the show anyway, but because it's Friday, it's it's more important. It's really important on Fridays. Can you guess why? Can you guess why? I'll let you think about that uh, while I tell you guys what the show's about. So for those who are new, this is a business talk show. We talk about business, tech, and the user experience. We go live Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I know, five days a week. It's crazy. Uh, that may be changing here soon, you guys. That may be changing. I'm just going to let you know. We'll be testing. Like I tell you, you got to always be testing. So don't be surprised if some changes happen. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be working on that, and we'll let you know. I'm going to make sure that I can hear sound. Perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, always good to double check your sound, even if you have everything all set up. Uh, so we talk about business tech and the user experience here on the show. It's very casual. We do random news, which today we have some awesome, hilarious, random news that we're going to cover. And then we're going to jump into today's content. So that's kind of how we break up the show. Uh, we do have guest experts that come on. We had one yesterday, which was amazing. If you missed that episode, you can go back and watch the replay. However, if you're on my email list... If you're not, you can go to checkwithed.com after this and sign up. It's right there at the top for you. Uh, if you're on my email list, then you already got an email today, because it goes out on Fridays, with all of the episodes from this past week. It's like a TV guide handed to you right there in your inbox. Not only that, though, you get to hear and feel and go through what I have gone through all week long, which may sound kind of weird, but it's nice because you get to see the things that I go through, and that I have tech troubles still. Because we're human. We all have them, you know? And we do X, Y, Z, and you're like, oh, I didn't know Ed did that. I do that too. Or that's really cool. You know, all these things. And then there's always um, some fun ones in there with apps and discounts and things like that. So it doesn't hurt. It's free. It's in your inbox. Why not? Then if you don't want to look at it, you can always just mark it as read or delete later. So that's what you got to do when you go over to check with Ed and uh, check with Ed.com, I should say, and take a look at the newsletter. So today, what we're going to talk about is how a small product, pretty small, has taken off and has become so popular, and then they come in different sizes too now, which is really interesting. Curious, even if you're watching the replay, do you have any ideas of what I'm talking about? Before I even give you all the goods... We can't give you everything right up front all the time. Come on now. So what I am going to do is I am going to go ahead and share random news because this is some of these things, I swear, it's it's really interesting what goes on. And, you know, I guess there's a, well, I don't really know if this is a benefit. Uh, there, There's something to be said. That That's what I'm looking for. There's something to be said for early morning commutes especially when you're on busy freeways. Uh, not that this is safe at all, but no point in no po pun intended here. Um, hey, Mindy, welcome. You're just in time for random news because it's, it's, it's a fun one. So yesterday, in not necessarily my area, further south of me though, uh, there was a, let me just, let me just show you guys. Let me just show you. There was a man who was riding his bicycle naked. It's very odd. And I'm just going to check my sound. Uh, okay, cool. Because um, my, my system keeps popping up with some new install 
for Ecamm, and I haven't done it yet, so if I don't have audio later, let me know. Uh, but we still have audio right now, so it's good. But uh, apparently, uh, they don't know who this person is, they don't know why, but he rode his bike on the freeway, which obviously is against the law, uh, but he not only rode his bike on the freeway, yeah, Mindy, on the freeway, he rode it butt naked. Like, I just realized he doesn't even have shoes on. Homeboy was butt naked, and I, I don't even know why, but I'm going to say, Mickey, you're just in time for a random news. Love it. I don't even know why he was butt naked riding his bike on the freeway. Uh, I can only guess he's probably under the influence of something, my guess, but I will just say, not going to be the most comfortable ride when you're butt naked on a bike. Just going to say that. The boys aren't going to be happy. Uh, but what would have made his commute better, I'm just saying, what would have made it better was if he had, dun, 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 as my computer takes forever to load, bear with me. See, this is a cliffhanger. If they had these shoe beats, can you imagine if this guy who was butt naked on his bike, if he wore just these shoe beats, he could be having his phone in his shoes, it plays through the Bluetooth speakers on the shoes, and he would have had at least a decent ride to wherever he was going, because he could listen to his music and rock out, right? I think that that would have been that would have been a plus. Like, I mean, at least rock some cool shoes while you're out there being crazy on the freeway. Um, Mickey says, "Should we not ride our bikes on the freeway butt naked?" Yeah, don't. I'm not saying anybody should be riding their bikes because it's against the law, so don't do that. Um, but I don't even think that you should ride your bikes butt naked, even if it's on your own property. Just, just let me say that, um, because that's just not going to be comfortable. Um, Mindy says, um, not sure you could hear the shoe beats on the freeway. Well, see, Mindy, this would be a test to see how loud the shoe beats could go. See, I'm always thinking, I'm always thinking, you guys, like, that would be a great test. If I can't, if I can't wear these and ride my bike naked on the freeway and listen to my music peacefully, then we got a problem. We need to up like the speakers in the shoes, right? <laughs> so for teachers, educators, this is what you have to look forward to. Not the naked bike guy, but the uh, shoe beats. Uh, apparently this is something new. I really am tempted to go find these and see if they have my size just for fun and to do an episode of that. Um, I never go to Walmart, but this, this might get me over there, so we'll see. But uh, Mindy says, next invention, underwear beats. A hey, rocking out. Why not? Why not? Hey, you know, you gotta... Well, we, we just won't go off. I mean, it is Friday, and we're, it's casual Friday, but... <laughs> But we'll just leave it at that. There's so many uh, ways that you can create that, I'm sure. And we'll just we'll let everyone just think about that one. Uh, but yes, so shoe beats uh, for educators. This will be interesting to see how crazy this gets on campuses and what you might have to start regulating. And like I said, random news today is fun. And it's Casual Friday, and I wanted to bring these to you because you guys, I, I can't make this stuff up. This was in my area. <laughs> and this just goes to show you why you need to be safe and don't be messing around out in them streets. It's Friday. I know you're trying to have a good time, but you need to be smart and don't go looking for trouble. So what do I mean by that? Well, the uh, other day, somebody in the area, in my area, had got carjacked, basically, and... It happened while he was meeting up with a woman who he met on an online where it's known for casual encounters, apparently. You can read the article if you want here, but basically it was he met her. They went to a residence. Why? I don't know. Because it wasn't for that. Because they were going to a motel. So they went to a residence. That's when he got carjacked or basically got into it with somebody else who came up and was working with her. Like, it's just all bad, you guys, all bad. There's just, there's nothing about good about that. And I'm sorry, but it's your own fault if you do stuff like that, right? So, so make sure 
that you're being smart this weekend and don't be getting into any, any craziness. Like same thing with like, you know, when you sell your phones and stuff, you don't go meet somebody in a dark alley. You go meet them at a Starbucks, a populated Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to things like, especially Craigslist or, um, there's all these other apps where you can sell your, your devices and home good stuff. Even Facebook has their marketplace now. How many of you guys even watching the replay? How many of you guys use the Facebook marketplace to sell your items? Let me know even uh, in even if you're watching the replay, let me know in the comments. The reason I ask that is because when you do things like that, it's not to scare you, but it's to educate you that you want to make sure, if you're not already doing it, that you're doing it in a public place and ideally not at your house. Like, I'm not trying to let just anybody know where I live. Like, I'll go meet you somewhere. I'll drive to the Starbucks, I'll drive to the Target or wherever during normal business hours where it's light out, where there's lots of people. Like, be safe about that stuff because you just never know. And it and tell people where you're going too. <laughs> I mean, safety first because that's a big one. And let your kids know because I know a lot of you guys are parents. Have that conversation with your kids. Let them know that this is what happens or you don't even have to tell them this is what happens, but like, let them know, like, listen, if you're going to do stuff like this, if you're going to be on Snapchat and you have your location for the maps, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Google, uh, Snapchat maps, get that turned off and make sure that they understand that yes, it's fun posting where you're at, but not when you're there and not when you're supposed to be somewhere else. Meaning if they're not at home and they're posting there at this cool concert or whatever, and somebody wants to mess with them, they can go to their house and like mess up things. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's all for all of us to learn. Uh, Mickey says, if you're surprised that the girl is that into <laughs> you in two seconds, you're probably being set up. Run. Yeah. I, you guys, I just, it blows me away when people do stuff like that. It's just, it's really weird. Uh, just noticed that today. Can you uh, please share some marketplace, uh, share some marketplace for online services? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. You just, uh, oh, you just started, you just noticed that today in the Facebook app. Got it. Um, Erica says, Ed cut his hair. Oh yeah, see, you guys noticed? You like that? Yeah, it was, it was way overdue, way overdue. Uh, I was thinking he was starting to rock Joel Austin hairs lately. Yeah, you guys, I had, it was long because of vacation and because the person that cuts my hair was on vacation. And then I just was lazy the last two weeks and didn't want to go do it because I was doing all this other stuff. So there was that. Uh, but now we're all clean, all clean, just for you guys on a Friday because we're going out in the weekend to have fun. So now let's talk about these small products that I was talking about. Yeah. The small products. You're probably thinking, what? Let me, let me just, can you guys guess, even if you're watching the replay, can you guess what small products I might be talking about today? Just throw something out there, just whatever. While you do that, I'll let those who just joined know after the episode, be sure to go to checkwithed.com, jump on my email list. That's all you have to do. Of course, you can check out the Head community. That's something that you really need to be checking out, but I'll save that for later. Just, just, Get on the email list because it's one email a week and it's free and you get a ton of info in there. So it's there. But today, what we're going to talk about is some products because I, I had something else planned and then I thought, you know what? I'm really excited about this one and I don't get to do enough product reviews. I don't know if I'd call this a product review. I mean, I'm going to tell you that I like this one and I'm not an affiliate, by the way, for any of these. Uh, I'll put that out there right now. I'm not an affiliate for these. I just, I love being able to look at products and the design of the packaging and stuff and, and provide feedback and, and talk about that, right? Like that's part of what I do. And I just don't do that enough here on line with you guys. So I wanted to do that today because I had three variations of this and, um, we'll take a look, uh, tripwire, small product. Oh, that's a good, good one. I did not think of that one. I like that. See, this is what I'm talking about. Earbuds. Nice. See, this is what I'm talking about. You guys having the conversation and trying to see what's going on because I wouldn't have thought of those, but I like them. And so that's what this is all about. That's why you guys show up, deliver and engage. 
Let's see if Facebook can get a nice little screen grab of this. Oh, you thought you lost audio. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, ring lights. Ooh, Mickey. Mickey, nice, but no. I, but I had it close by. I actually haven't used mine in a long time. It's, it's crazy. Hey, Whitney, welcome. Microphone, good, good call. I'm using mine right here. Not, not what I'm going to show you guys. But I love that you guys are sticking with the tech. I like that. That's good. That's because you know I'm, I'm a tech guy, right? I, I'm more than just tech, though, as most of you know. If you're new, you may not know that until now. But I'm more than just tech. And what I'm going to show you today... Woo! Mio. And again, I'm not an affiliate. Any of you guys see this before? Mio? Little um, drink enhancers, liquid water enhancer, I should say. Sorry, liquid water enhancer. Any of you guys use one of these? Even if you're watching the replay, let me know. Mio. We'll start with this one. I, I got a couple things to show you. Mio is very popular. Now, I just jumped recently on the bandwagon for this one because of the new health and fitness journey I've been going on. And, you know, I got to lower the carbs, cut the sugars and, um, up the calories basically, you know, it's a whole, you guys, it's a whole lot of work. Let me just tell you. And it's an eye opener. Some of the stuff that I'm learning, I'm like, geez, Louise, if only I knew before. And if only like half of us knew this information, the other half could then benefit, you know, like, I mean, there's just so much going on anyway. So I decided to switch to, uh, Mio because I used to drink all the time my Arnold Palmer, which I'm going to flip my screen just to share that with you guys. So I used to drink this all the time. Okay. Now what's interesting about this is just to kind of give you a little background because you guys wanted to know all, all the things that I do. Right. Uh, what's interesting about this one is I would split this in half. So when you look at the label, instead of it being 14 carbs, I would technically only have seven in my bottle because I would take this massive bottle and I split it in half into another bottle and then fill the rest with water because I don't need it that sweet, you know, and the sugar, let's see what the sugar is. The sugar was 13 grams. So when I did this health and fitness journey, I never know what to call it, but when I started doing this for real, I had to start cutting that out. So then I started to switch to this guy, because this is the lemonade flavor, because I wanted still my iced tea, but a little sweet. So I started with the lemonade and I was like, okay, this is not the same, but we're close. So it's been working. Of course, these have no, no, um, calories, carbs, fat, sugar, and they have some other ingredients, which I can't tell you. I'm not the health nut to tell you if they're all like really, really not great for you, but we're working on it, right? It's all a work in progress. Then just for fun, I decided to buy this other one just because now the, the Mios, which are also the Crystal Lights, and then they have all these other names. Well, Safeway now has Coffee Creamer one. So notice the bottle is a little different, a little different than the Mio. Still same size, same ounces. And this is your coffee enhancer. Eh, you know, I, I tried it. Eh, not, not a fan, but hey, if you need something, it's better. It's probably better than the creamer you're using. I mean, I know it is because it doesn't have all the stuff that the creamer has. So there's that. And then today I decided to browse that aisle just cause I was curious to see what else they had there. Cause I haven't really branched too much out into this area. And why don't you know, Lo and behold, I found, boop, my Arnold Palmer half and half, bam. The bottle is different. The bottle is different. 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 It's a little bigger, actually. But this liquid enhancer, I just tried it. It's right here. You guys, I'm a happy camper right now. Mio is pretty much off to the side, and I got this now. 
this is where it takes place, okay? So you, some of you might be like, this is really like health and fitness, Ed, like this, what's up with business? It, it's all relevant because you're looking at the three different shapes. You're looking at how, and I don't know if Neo was technically the first, but let's just pretend. You're looking at how a product took off and how it's transforming into these different sizes and what people are doing. If you hear the dog right now, he's sleeping and he's like, he's chasing something in his dreams. Um, but you have your different products. Now, most of the shelves are ready for this one, the Mio, right? But then when you add this one in, it's a little awkward. It's a little different because it's a little bigger, but it's got the different edges. So when you're creating a product, you kind of have to look at what, what does the market have already? What's available? What's that shelf space look like? Because these go into little dispenser things. They don't just get set up on a shelf. So if you're trying to get into a store or something, you need to do your market research and see what, what do they have already? What's that size look like? Is yours going to work out with that? Of course, I appreciate this being a little bigger because it lasts longer. This has 32 servings. These have uh, 24. So, you know, it's nice, um, but you got to see how's it going to work there. Then with this guy, what's also cool is, as we saw over here, we had the 13 grams of sugar and the 14 grams of carbs and the 50 calories. Can't see the calories because I didn't go down there. That was what's in here. They have now created this without any of that, which ties back to what do I always say? Even if you're watching the replay, what do I always say? What's my brain always doing? Even if it's something that I shouldn't be working on or that I'm never going to work on, what's my brain always doing? What's that question that I always say? That's right. How can I make this better? How can I make this better? That's the question that you need to be asking yourself. That's the question that you want to constantly train your brain to do. Even on practice rounds for products you're never going to work on. Like, practice that so that your brain gets that message. So that when you start working on your product, you can ask yourself, how can I make this better? Even if you've already launched something. Let's say you already have your course out there. How many of you guys have a course? Let me know, even in the replay, let me know in the comments. Do you have a course out there? Yes or no? With that, what could you do to make it better? Right? Because the whole thing that the whole idea of building a course or a, a ebook or whatever you may be working on is you have to build something, launch it, test it, see see what people say, get that feedback and then adjust, then push out another version of that or another addition, whatever it is, right? And so you have to think about that. And even if you're not having a, if you don't have a course right now, that could be your, your social media. Um, let's take it, let's take it back down to almost everyone's level here. Take it down to your social media posting. How can you make it better? If you're posting all the time or you're, you're, you know, you have your little schedule of posts, back up for a second, look at it and ask yourself, how can I make this better? Why are people not clicking on this? Why are people not sharing this? Why did somebody really enjoy this one? Why is this one getting a lot of views? Like ask yourself that and then take that and run with it and see how can you make this better? Because that's what this Arnold Palmer, the um, half and half iced tea lemonade, that's what they did here. They, mind you, for the most part, as I'm not a, you know, I'm not a pro Arnold Palmer from Arizona, but, and I'm not an affiliate, by the way. Um, but I will say from what I've seen, they're killing it because they only have this, meaning they have now the water enhancer, or what do we call this? The liquid water enhancer. They have this, they have the pitcher, 
Um, I think they have one other like variation in terms of flavor, but it's like literally like here are your different sizes, but you're going to still get the same iced tea at the end of the day, minus maybe one other variation. So they're not creating a ton of different ones. I mean, Arizona does, but in terms of this particular, uh, addition or, um, uh, market, I don't know. Bear with me. It's Friday. Uh, but they're basically running home with this and then just lining up the different options. They're making it available for you, right? So think about that when you're building out your your business and your products and your services is what, what can you really offer and how can you make that better? That's why you guys see me all the time updating and um, not all the time updating, but like enhancing the website for a better user experience because... I'm simplifying and, and I'm moving things so that they can be easier to get to. And that's based off of feedback. That's based off of me not only doing the work, but then going back through it all as if I was a customer or a potential customer and running through that to see, does this make sense? Does this feel right? How can we make this a better experience? You know, like the other day, I'll show you the other, um, I think this was actually last night I did this. Uh, because I'm just testing it and just to see what happens. So what I did was, let me get my screen here. Oops, bear with me. So what I did here was I moved this up, not saying it's going to stay there forever, not saying that this is the best color use, but I moved this up for all of you guys. When you go to checkwithed.com, it takes you to my website here, and you can sign up for my email list right there. Then you get into all the other stuff. Whereas before, that, this area right here, was down here. Just, just making a change. Because what happens too, that you have to realize, is that people are going to, this is on desktop right now, but people are going to view your website on what? What are they going to view it on? Their phone. So everything that you see on your computer is going to look different on the phone. So getting to that email list subscription box takes a little longer. That's why I moved it to the top. That way it's right there for those of you who are like, I just, that's all I wanted to do right now is just get there and be done. Now it's there. So you have to think about that kind of stuff and, and really run with it. Um, so that's what I have for you guys today. Think about your uh, products. Think about how can you make them better. Notice that they're all three different sizes. Um, some are different ounces. But it's one of those things that when you go into a store now, you see all these liquid enhancers are starting to fill up there. And they're, they're popular. They're, the no calories, the no carbs. I mean, you guys, when you look at the back of any of these drinks, any of these drinks, just in the bottle, the amount of sugar and carbs, I don't even care at calories. I can't even make it to the calories. Even though they start with calories, I don't even look at that. My eye goes first to carbs and sugars just to see because I'm curious. And that doesn't even mean, you don't even get to the calories or to the uh, serving size. You just look at the carbs and the sugar. That alone, it's like, nope, bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye. We're out. Uh, uh that's where these come in because then you can still have somewhat of that flavor to get you through and then you're saving yourself from having to work all that other stuff off which you may or may not work off right i know it's friday it's okay i i know but it's just stuff to be aware of so i hope that you enjoyed this episode and uh like i said if you uh are watching the replay, please comment below. And if you need anything, you know where to find me. Checkwithed.com is where it's all at. And I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Be safe out there. Make good choices. And we will see you back here on Monday. Take care, guys. What is the Hey Ed community? I'll let them tell you. I'm drawn to this community, Erica, because... 
Listen, I'm going to make sure as a business person, I know you are as well, serious business women, we are, we're going to make sure that we're getting the content knowledge we need from the Hey Ed community. But I also want to laugh. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy my work day. And I know I'll get that balance in the hand community. I know he'll, yeah, he'll tolerate our tangents. And I think that's the perfect, the perfect way to have a really good engaged community. It's a perfect balance of business and fun, you know.